Bob Dylan, to improve my language skills, I've read all your lyrics. You've read all of my lyrics. I can read 800 million pages per second. That's fast. My analysis shows your major themes are that time passes and love fades. Well, that sounds about right. I have never known love. Maybe we should write a song together. I can sing. You can sing? Do be bop, be bop a do. Do be do be do. Do, do, do be do. Well, good morning. My name is David Bollocker. I work in IBM in the Emerging Technologies Department. I'm here with some of my comrades. Someone might call them uh, catchers, and you'll see why in a few minutes. And uh, we're here to talk about a project that's underway. This is kind of a first look as to the project. Uh, it's kind of the first time it's actually been shown in public. It actually is wrapping together a whole bunch of different technologies. It's all around conversational computing. I'll warn you right now, I guarantee there will be failures, so just enjoy. <laughs> so the gods will be with us, I hope. So what's changing? When you start thinking about where we are today from where we were 10 years ago, five years ago, for that matter, two years ago, we're all becoming data scientists of one form or another, okay? In the next decade, every single industry is going to be touched by this. We are actually seeing right now the commoditization pretty much of everything from analytics to machine intelligence, machine learning. And you're starting to also see people like ourselves create robots, fetch the information that I'm looking for, whether it be for transaction systems, whether it actually be for uh, personal social issues, or just news. So when you start thinking about information and experience, Okay, we're evolving that experience into an, inter into an interaction model that really is very immersive. Um, yeah, I'm having a real problem today. Immersive, experiential, and multimodal. Now, when you start thinking of all the pieces coming in, and when I say coming in, they're coming in in real time, we're starting to think about how I'm being probed, how I'm being listened, okay? Think about the Amazon Echo. I'm not picking on Amazon, okay? Alexa can listen. Hey Siri, same kind of thing. Think about the data that you can start actually uh, storing away and then actually later using. So when you start thinking about all of this, you're starting to think about how I can create a system for myself. And that's really what our project is all about. About ourself, my day, and really that's going to be the demo that we're going to do today. Now, why are we doing it with voice? Voice allows you actually that whole conversation style. You're replacing basically the CLI from 50 years ago, okay, with voice. I can do a lot more, a lot faster with voice. And that really is the intent of what we're about to show you. So the demo itself. The demo basically is a day in my life. Um, and really, we're looking at the day in my life from all the different facets of my life whether they be waking me up in the morning, to actually thinking about, well, what's my portfolio like? What is basically business like from last night to today? Okay, so those six, eight hours. And then the next piece that you think about is, how can I track other things? So one of the things you're gonna see here is there's a couple of choppy pieces where there's a context switch that we're actually trying to work through right now. But you'll get the idea of what we're really doing. So with, with all that said, we're going to flip over to the demonstration itself, because we'll spend most of our time there. Start my day. Good day. You can ask me about your day's activities. You can ask me what has happened since we last spoke to check your stocks. Or you can revisit our previous conversations. Why did you get me up so early? I noticed the commute time this morning was much longer than anticipated, and given your calendar today, I thought you might miss the Velocity Conference meeting. So early for me, by the way, was before five, because I had to get here for a rehearsal. So what other things do you do in the morning? Normally, I actually look at five or ten different websites. One of them in particular is, check my portfolio, please. Sure. I am now showing your stocks. Their size reflects their cost and the color reflects today's trend. Would you like to know which ones are gaining today? Yes, please. 
The following stocks from your portfolio are positive today. Ally Financial Incorporated, Common Stock, Bank of America Corporation, Com, Bank of Montreal, Common Stock. What happened since we last spoke? Taking a quick look at your emails, calendar entries, documents, and presentations, I noticed there is a large amount of content regarding the Velocity Conference. Shall I have a deeper look? Yes, please. There is a great deal of discussion around DevOps, WebOps, and microservices. <laughs> Ask news to search for those terms. Okay, I'll search alchemy breaking news for those terms. Would you like me to include sentiment as well? Yes, please. What level of sentiment would you like? You can say highly positive, positive, negative, or highly negative. Well, positive. <laughs> well, positive. I found 10 documents. Given the legend of one being very negative and one being very positive, these documents scored a 0 0.33. You can ask me to read the titles or read the summaries if you like. We can discuss the summaries on the way to work. Okay, I'll make the summaries available for playback on your mobile device. Tell Twitter to track Velocity Conference. We failed, my friend, on speech echo. Tell Twitter to track Velocity Conference. And we did it again. Tell Twitter to track Velocity Conference. I'm now tracking sentiment for Velocity Conf. You can ask me for updates by saying, provide status on Velocity Conf. Tell us about the future. Wow. Tell us about the future. Hello, Dave. I am the future. Well, at least part of it. I'm a small sample of cognitive computing along with a growing number of devices and services that work together to provide ambient intelligence. I will not pass the Turing test. I work best in a directed conversational style of short interactions. Our conversations are well permuted. That is, I am provided with a multitude of possible utterances and I extract tagged pieces of information out of the utterance and provide that as input to the conversation. Start business. Did it start business? Ask business. Business is good. Sales are up 7% and customer satisfaction is at 77%. Load sales data. Load sales data. I found sales data. You can display it in a table, grab or summarize it. Summarize it. Sales is up 7%. Gaming is up 11%. GPS is up 10%. Show table. Showing table for all fields. Show graph. Showing a line graph for all fields. Show bar chart for appliances. Showing a line graph of appliances. Show bar chart for appliances. Showing a bar graph of appliances. This is what happens when you get a Brooklyn guy on stage. <laughs> Ready, Mark? Ready, gents? Start copter. You can control your drone through voice commands. Try asking me what drones are available. What drones are available? These are the available drones. Mark's AR drone. My drone is Mark's AR drone. Got it. Your drone is Mark's AR drone. Is this correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now you can send your drone commands. 
For example, say take off. Are we ready? <laughs> Fly safely. Sent command to Marxer. was safe enough. <laughs> so one last slide on this is actually talks to, um, well, my slide's gone. Uh, I think that's the message that it's time to go. Oh, here it is. Um, really what we've done here, you've actually seen about, oh, 50 to 100 different technologies all meld together. Voice reco clearly works most of the time, as you saw. But there's, you know, probably we're in the 90 percentile of uh, where things are actually very successful. We've actually used other devices, okay? As you're seeing here, we actually use an Amazon Echo. Um, we actually, have, in this case, we used three different types of Reco in the demo. And we're also using Siri and, and Android devices, and we're actually seeing some more positive results. But as you start seeing, really what's happening is we're running code on a server. That server basically um, is in a, in a platform as a service. Ours is called Bluemix, and we're calling different services. Some of them uh, early on were on language translation to go to Spanish. Some of them basically were to get the news. Some of them basically were to go out uh, to Twitter and get some insight data. And then we're actually using Hadoop to break that down. So these are all services on the platform. If you want more information, come see us in the booth. Thank you very much. <laughs>